Hey everyone, welcome to Live in a Country. I'm Holly and welcome to Farmhouse Home Tours, our home tour series where every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we share a home tour of an Instagrammer, a home decor enthusiast, or a home decor stylist here on our channel to get you guys inspiration for your home. So today I am so excited to have Beth from Old Time Marketplace here today. She is gonna be sharing her home. She's got a beautiful rustic farmhouse style and you guys are gonna just fall in love with her fall in love with her home and I'm so excited to have her here today sharing her home. So let's go ahead and welcome Beth. I am going to link down below her Instagram account so you guys can go follow her, check her out and get even more inspiration. She's got lots of DIYs that she's going to be sharing here on our channel today and just so much inspiration. I know you guys are going to love her. I'm also going to link down below the playlist of all the wonderful ladies who have shared their homes here on the channel today. So if you guys are needing extra motivation, extra inspiration, you guys can put that playlist on your TV and just be getting inspiration for days. So let's go ahead and welcome Beth, go to her home with her and let's go ahead and get started. Hi friends, welcome to my home. I'm Beth from Old Time Marketplace and I'm happy to be here on the Living at Country channel today. I'd like to thank Holly for the invitation. So let's take a look at our home. We'll start in the dining room. And the dining room is off to the left when you enter our home. Our home was built in 1900 and one thing that small older homes <clears throat> lack for sure is storage. And so we've come up with solutions by using different pieces of furniture that help us to meet the needs of, you know, just storing everyday items out of sight. One of my favorite pieces of furniture is this base cupboard and this cubby top. They're two separate pieces that we found at different times. And I love the fact that they fit within an inch of each other. The top just slid right on there, so perfect. I love to collect things and one of my philosophies on collecting and displaying collections is they always look better when they are grouped together. And this cubby unit allowed me to be able to display a lot of my favorite little marmalade pots and ironstone pieces that I love. I also love to use architectural salvage in my decor and you'll notice that some of these candlesticks are nothing more than pieces of old porch posts that were cut to different heights and allow me to just you know put candles on there and they work great as risers too for little plants and different things that may need a little more height in your decor we also were lucky to find this little old dresser that fit into this space perfectly that can help me keep placemats and there's probably books and magazines in there as well but it just keeps it out of sight and sometimes out of mind because i'll forget what's in there <laughs> My husband is so talented when it comes to making these beautiful lamps out of old um, corbels and architectural salvage. And I was lucky enough to snag a couple of them. And when we moved into the house, this is one of the first things that I put in here. I love the neutral color palette. Woods and whites are like my go-tos. I love different textures. And I love just the calming, you know, uh, serene feel of neutral decor. These old windows are one of my favorite aspects of our home. They're the original windows. There's four of them that run across the front of our house and they have the wavy glass and I love those. Old cupboards are great to house collections too. I love this one. Um, it allows me to keep a lot of my favorite ironstone pieces safe and sound inside. This armoire holds all of our coats and I love the fact that it has a mirror. It helps to reflect the light in the room and it also, oh my gosh, it serves such a great purpose. Not only does it look good, but it is useful. So let's take our tour into the kitchen and we have high ceilings in this house which I was super excited about because it allowed me to display above my cabinets and I love scales <laughs> and birdhouses and so what I did here is I combined both of them on top of our cabinets and just kind of added some whimsy up there and that will probably change as the seasons change during the year, but it was fun for spring. So 
I, I love how we have a lot of natural light that comes through here. Our island is probably our most used piece of furniture. We lean on it. We throw things on it. We bake on it. We cook on it. We serve on it. And I was so excited when my husband actually found this and all we did was repaint it and treat the butcher block top. And it is a workhorse for sure. Possibly our most easiest DIY that we ever did was this mug rack and I found the wire mug rack on Amazon and then at a different time we found this wooden window frame and literally came home walked in the door hung it up and done couldn't have been any easier <laughs> I love 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 that it took like five minutes easy DIYs are my jam for sure so the other thing that I love to collect, let's take a look in the cow cabinet. I love cows. I love little old cow figurines. And I kind of leave these guys in there all the time. You might see them sprinkled throughout the house and other places, but they all seem to gather here. Every once in a while they get a little sheep buddy. <laughs> but I love them all together. And again, I think that collections displayed together make a better impact another thing that I love to collect and display with are old signs and you'll see three of them right here and they always have to have the look and they have to have like the right words and the right sayings and the salad sign here especially was probably one of my favorites it was my first my first old sign that I found and it was actually at a yard sale for $20 and I snatched that up so fast <laughs> and put it in my car. Again, another cupboard. I have my old breadboards in there. I've got my ironstone platters in there and these are actually things that I use all the time. These are just not for display. So that's why these are in the kitchen and they are handy for me to get to. So we'll take our tour into the living room where Punky is busy deciding about wanting some snacks. Hi, Punk. <laughs> Good morning. So our living room is probably the darkest room of the house. And we've got, oh, there's Frizzo over there. Doesn't want to miss anything. And it is, it's a small room. It's comfortable and it's cozy. I think this is the best definition of this room is that it's cozy and some of my favorite pieces are in here even though it's a small room I filled it up with some big furniture and it works probably the most asked piece of furniture that I get most questions on on my Instagram account every time I, I share it is my coffee table and this coffee table I stood in the rain all day at an auction to get this table and I finally scored it at the end of the auction for five dollars it was totally worth it it obviously was a a full-size table a tall table that had been cut down and what a super easy way to to manipulate the table to fit your needs so if you ever see a table that you like this is a very big table <laughs> But I love it because I like bigger things. This big dough bowl, the, the big pine cones. I mean, I love the size and it seems to work in here. And you'll notice we've got um, different pieces in here that have all come from different, different places. And that's the best part that I love about being able to put this look together using salvaged materials. And again, with the neutral colors. You'll see that I love shutters. I can never pass up a good chippy shutter. That should be a rule. Never pass up a good chippy shutter. <laughs> and another sign. And this piece down here that the TV was on, that the TV is on. If I get out of the sun there. This was found in the mountains in North Carolina. And it serves us really well for our TV stand. So, and as you head down the hallway, 
you'll see that I've used a church pew there to help with laundry that helps me stack and fold the laundry and I love using again old windows and this particular piece here was found in a burn pile and I drove past got out asked the farmer if I could take it and he looked at me like sure and so for free I got an awesome peg rack so I appreciate you all coming along with me as I did my tour today, and I hope that you saw some things that inspire you to maybe use in your home. And if you have any questions or would like to get some more further information, you can follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest, all under Old Time Marketplace. Have a great day. Thank you all so much for watching Living It Country today, and thank you for watching Farmhouse Home Tours. And a big thank you to Beth for opening up her home and sharing it here on our channel today. If you guys want more inspiration, I have a playlist down below so you guys can watch other home tours today. Thank you guys so much for being here, and I'll see you guys later on Living It Country. Bye!